Good morning, my name is Maria Luisa Grilli and I will tell you about the experimental demonstration of absorption enhancement of graphene layers in optical resonant cavities. This work has been carried out at INEA, the Italian National Agency for New Technologies, Energy and Sustainable Economic Development at Casaccio Research Center in Rome. We know that graphene and other 2D materials are emerging a platform for several photonic and optoelectronic applications, highly demanded uh, for optical modulation, optical switching in computing, for photodetectors in a vast range of wavelengths. We also know that uh, the absorption of single layer graphene is 2.3% in all the wavelength range, and uh, to, for such application it must be announced, and this generally announced by partnering graphene, by e-beam or ion beam lithography, or by coupling graphene with photonic crystals, metamaterials, or plasmonic materials. Recently, a high absorption in unpatterned graphene was uh, simulated inside an optical cavity. This is a recent work where 50% uh, of absorption is simulated in graphene when embedded in a multilayer stack, in this case, a multilayer filter. And this study explored the uh, absorption as a function of the number of layer and the layer material defined by the refractive index ratio. Uh, for such approach, uh, for increasing the graphene absorption, as far as we know, uh, no experimental demonstration has been uh, um, carried out. And uh, I think uh, this is the first work where we demonstrated experimentally the uh, absorption of graphene and the very high absorption in optical cavities. We have explored three different filters, a symmetric Fabry Perot, an asymmetric Fabry Perot, and an asymmetric reflective Fabry Perot. We have grown the Fabry Perot filter by radio frequency sputtering, graphene by CVT. I will give you some insight about the uh, radio frequency sputtering uh, parameters about the graphene preparation. And I will demonstrate high absorption of graphene inside the Fabry Perot filter, giving some conclusion and future perspective. This is the um, first simulation that we have carried out, and also uh, we have investigated the absorption of graphene inside the Fabry Perot filter. This is asymmetric filters made by two uh, identical mirrors, the bottom mirror and top mirror, separated by an optical cavity. Graphene in all the filter is positioned where the electric field inside the structure is maximum. And uh, um, for, from this uh, uh, picture, we can see that uh, when light hits uh, the graphene, uh, the uh, cavity allows a multiple reflection of the radiation. Therefore, graphene absorbs light several times, and the absorption is proportional to the Fabry Perot finesse that is related to the reflectance of the two mirrors. We have simulated our structure with console muse T physics by simulating reflectance and transmittance and inferring absorption. We have uh, in use for all the multilayer stack uh, as the high refractive index material silicon as the low refractive index material CO2. Uh, the thickness of this, uh, the optical thickness, is uh, uh, one quarter uh, of the uh, uh, central wavelength of the Fabry Perot. And um, for in all the cases, as uh, I told you, we put graphene where the uh, electric field in the multilayer stack is maximum. The uh, graphene is uh, um, simulated by these uh, formulas. This is the uh, optical conductivity of graphene that is expressed by the sum of the interband transitions and root like interband conductivity. This is uh, the first uh, uh, result that we obtained by our simulation in the case of the symmetric Fabry Perot filter, where one layer graphene absorbed 40% of the uh, pinging radiation uh, in very good accordance also with the results uh, from the, the, the theory uh, simulated by other authors. We have then uh, switched to the experimental part of this uh, uh, work, fabricating the multilayer stack. We have uh, fabricated the Fabry Perot filter by radio frequency sputtering, starting from silicon target, 6 inch diameter. 
uh, uh, the silicon layer were grown in argon atmosphere, CO2 in argon plus oxygen. We use 200 watt radio frequency power, very high pressure, 10 to, min 2, 10 to minus 2 millibar. Nevertheless, in the first experiment, we observe a damage of graphene. That's why uh, for the preparation of uh, fabrication of CO2 close to the graphene layers, we increase further the working pressure to 4, 5, 10 to minus 2 millibar. We decrease the uh, radio frequency power to 50 watts and we uh, further protect the graphene by uh, evaporating a thin and uh, magnesium fluoride layer. This magnesium fluoride layer has got no effect on the optical cavity, having similar optical properties this as a uh, CO2 layers. Uh, we can grow uh, graphene quite efficiently from ethanol uh, with a high quality, very low deep band as demonstrated by this gamma spectra. And this slide shows the fabrication process steps. So we first uh, fabricate the radio by radio frequency sputtering the bottom mirror, then uh, we grow separately graphene by CBD, then we transfer graphene on the uh, top of the bottom mirror, we submit to a very mild heating, we deposit the, the, evapor uh, the uh, thin magnesium fluoride and we fabricate by radio frequency sputtering the top mirror taking care of uh, uh, growing in my condition the CO2 layer close to magnesium fluoride. Uh, the quality of graphene is preserved in all the fabrication process as demonstrated by this spectra. Only the D-band is slightly increased uh, with respect uh, uh, to single layer graphene and also single layer after evaporation. But the quality is preserved, is preserved after the wolf sputtering process. Also the optical quality as demonstrated demonstrated by this, uh, trans the transmittance of uh, single layer graphene in the UV remains unchanged. And uh, the experimental validation uh, was very um, well done because we obtained 39% of absorption against the 40% of simulated one. We have performed the experiment also by using two layer graphene. In this case, single layer graphene was transferred transfer twice. We have done the experiment also with five layer graphene. In this case, absorption simulated and also experimental was lower. But this is due to the higher absorption of uh, five layer graphene with respect to single layer graphene, which uh, uh, reduces the, uh, uh, the um, reflected radiation inside the cavity. The measurement we have done by spectrophotometric and FTIR instrument uh, using certified mirrors in the uh, wavelength um, range that we have analyzed. And to further increase the absorption of graphene, we try to increase the number of the layer of the, of the bottom mirror. In this case, we have used uh, this asymmetric fabriparo structure. We have found in this structure two places where to put graphene and uh, where the electric field is maximum. And therefore, uh, we have done the experiment uh, uh, by and we've done the simulation first by inserting graphene where the electric field is maximum, observing 53%. Also in the middle of the cavity, but in this case, electric field is zero and we observe a very low absorption. And also put in two layers of graphene, one in the uh, close to the top mirror and one uh, close to the bottom mirror, uh, very uh, adjacent to the optical cavity. In this case, absorption was 47%. We have validated experimentally by using the simplest configuration, obtaining 50% of experimental absorption. We have further increased the reflectance of the bottom mirror, in this case by increasing the number of the layer in the stack and the simulation uh, said for a single layer graphene an absorption of 87% that we have validated experimentally. These are the experimental curve of the fabri in case of no graphene or with single layer graphene. We observe 84% absorption. We have measured the absorption as a function of incident angle and also um, of the uh, wavelength of the incident radiation and also as a function of the polarization of the incident radiation. We explore also the effect of incident angle on the bandwidth and also explore the different wavelength, uh, central wavelength for the 
antipero. And I've demonstrated here a high absorption of unpatterned graphene in optical cavity obtained by exploiting the elective field enhancement. The absorption of graphene increases by uh, using a symmetric Fabry Perot filter. We uh, measure experimental and maximum absorption of 84%. We can modulate absorption by changing materials, uh, and changing the central wavelength of Fabry Perot, also increasing the number of graphene or using double cavity to increase the bandwidth. And I thank you, my co-authors, which helped me in this work. And I thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.